Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to today's recording. Notice that I said recording and not reading. Uh, so I wasn't planning on doing a reading here on this specific recording. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about the nine-year cycle um, and talk a little bit about life. So I look forward to being able to, to share with you guys. Uh, I've actually done a great job of overthinking all of this. I really have. Uh, you know, I, I could make it so complicated and difficult, but I was sitting here in my, in my studio and I was listening to the song Gravity by John Meyer, right? And it's just that gravity, that resistance, you know, that, that, that holds me back. So I'm just going to put it out there today. Just going to talk to all of you and, and, uh, and share much of my experience, uh, my experience and my journey. Uh, and the reason that I'm sharing it is because I feel like I know that many of you, you're on your own journey, right? And you're seeking that understanding, right? You're seeking that meaning, um, that connection. So, uh, just to give you, you know, all of you a little bit of a little bit of background. Um, so three years ago, I was 47, and years before I just went through my second divorce. Um, anyways. My life filled with ups and downs, um, thriving and diving. And I had a place in life where there was just something within me that desperately was seeking answers to meaning and purpose. Uh, because looking back on my life, right, the 47 years prior, and you know, there were some difficult chapters during that lifetime, and I had to, I had to gain a better understanding of you know what this journey is all about right how life works I, I wanted to better understand the mechanics of life right to really be able to wrap my head around what this whole experience is all about so anyways three years ago um, I, I moved to a, a trailer uh, and I lived in a trailer by myself and uh, it was at that time that I started you know I kind of I went into hermit mode where I really went inward. I really was not socializing a whole lot, um, working full time, but in all my free time, I was, I was there in the trailer and I was deep in thought, looking into, you know, seeking meaning and purpose and understanding. Um, and it took me down all kinds of roads. I actually stayed at that trailer for about eight months. And then I moved from there into a smaller camper, uh, but I was surrounded by nature. And, you know, it was just, it was me being able to, I think, connect with the simplicity of life at that time, right? Just the basics in life, which that's what I was experiencing in the camper. And it was a beautiful experience. Um, very enlightening, uh, very healing in so many ways. Uh, it helped me to be able to make a stronger connection with nature uh, and be able to develop this genuine, deep sense of appreciation for nature, for all of nature. So I was looking into consciousness and energy and the various religions, uh, different philosophies that are taught in life, quantum physics. Uh, I mean, you, you name it. I went down that, that, those holes and I, and I, and I was seeking, seeking truth, seeking understanding. Uh, and I was doing that because I felt like I needed to find that for myself in my own life. Uh, and I'm very grateful that I had that experience because I'm so thankful for everything that I've been, I've been able to, to learn and understand, you know, from putting in energy to learn it, as well as sometimes it came in intuitively. Anyways, so it's been a beautiful experience and it feels good to be able to share my experience with you guys because what I've went through and what I've experienced, the things that I've learned along the way, they have absolutely helped me, right? To be able to feel better connected to that meaning and that purpose in my own life. Um, you know, very insightful as I'm looking back on my life. So today, I, what I wanted to share with you guys is some of what I've learned as it pertains to specifically numerology uh, and this nine year cycle. Um, that, and, and again, I want to state right now, I'm not claiming 
to be the be all of truth with this recording. Um, I'm just sharing with you what I've learned about that's really resonated and made sense. Uh, and not because I needed it and, and wanted it to make sense, but it's because it just does. And the reason it does is because at the end of the day, it's all just energy, right? And energy is a vibration, you know, it's a, it's a number. And, and when each of us came into this world, you know, if we really hone it down, right, there's, there's a number, a set frequency to each and every one of us. Uh, and that frequency is absolutely influenced by the movement of the stars, right? Um, and it's created that way by intention because it, 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 it gives us each the ability during this experience here on Earth to be able to take on changes uh, because they just naturally come to us. So there's it creates this constant, evolving, continuous flow of progress and growth, which is, it's a beautiful thing. So anyways, uh, I've taken a few notes here and I'm just gonna kinda hold up my notes and, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, in real simple terms what I was able to do, how I was able to calculate my own numerology, um, calculate my life path number, and be able to formulate, lay out my life on the nine year plan, beginning in that first year with my life path number. So I'm gonna share with you guys my notes on this. Um, and what you, want, what you can do is just take you, your information, your month of birth, your, your, the day and the year, uh, and just add those numbers up. I'm gonna show, show it to you here. I don't have great writing, but, so it's Morty, right? Date of birth, January 25th, 1969. So I come down to the next category. January is the first month of the year. So I give that a numerical value of a one. Then I have the 25th, and I was born in the year 1969. So I have one, five plus two is seven, one plus nine plus six plus nine is 25, which adds up to 33. And you narrow it down to a single number, three plus three equals six. So what that tells me is my life path number is a six, right? And each of us have different life path numbers. So you'll, you'll be able to calculate yours. Um, and what your life path number, what that consists of, it's, it's who you are, your deepest values, and also it points out some of the challenges that you may very well face in your lifetime as it pertains specifically to the energies in your life path number. So, and I know I can tell you firsthand from my experience with my life path number being a six, uh, that my experience in life has definitely been, those have been some of the biggest challenges, uh, actually the biggest challenges that I've had in my life. So it's great for me to, I, I wish I could have understood this years ago, uh, but I'm grateful to be able to understand it now uh, because it's one thing to be able to look back in hindsight, right? After everything's already taken place and go through and, and figure it out and put it together and have it make sense. Once, you know, if you have that kind of experience like I did, now you have the knowledge and the understanding of not what's happened in the past, right? But what's ahead, what lies ahead. You're more familiar with your energies and the energies that you may be going into on a given year. Uh, and again, at the end of the day, right? They're just numbers. They're just vibrations, frequencies. And it's incredibly accurate. Um, in fact, you know, if I step back and I look at the big picture objectively, it's absolutely fascinating. Uh, this is the most sophisticated experience right here on life right that any of us could ever imagine um, yeah all created uh, all with the intention right for each and every one of us on our individual growth and experience that we embrace in life so anyways so you want to begin by going to your month day and year of birth adding up those numbers and then coming up with the beginning, right? Your life path number, which is your first year in life. 
Uh, so mine began with a six. So then as I, as I continue on, what I did for myself is I created a chart um, and I kind of went down numerically, you know, my age over here in this category, the year, so I was born in 69, age one, my life path number six. So I came in to that first year as a six, meaning so when I went into 1970, I went to a seven, 71, an eight, 72, a nine, and then 73, I started a new cycle and went back to a one again. And then over here, I just have, you know, key events and energies, which for me, I found very helpful because I could, I mean, I remember certain things in my life, right? Uh, all of us do, uh, you know, key events that happened. And if we go back and think about it, we can hone in on those years where those experience happened. Uh, so that's what I did in the beginning. I went all the way down my chart and I was mindful of those, of those key events in my life when they took place. Uh, and especially those years where I was feeling, you know, strong energies within me. And it was just shockingly accurate. So each one of the years, one through nine, they represent a different energy for all of us. And it's an energy that's, it's a numeric value. Uh, and it's the energy beginning with our, that year, when we're, you know, our birthday of that year. It's an energy that, is, is an important energy in our life for that specific year. Uh, and what I wanted to do just real quickly is just go over the personal year energies so I can give you guys a better understanding of, of what each year represents. Uh, and I think you know, you'll know you find that you identify with it. Uh, I hope that you have an experience like me and you're able to see all kinds of connections and meaning. I mean, for me, what it did is it validated right that this isn't a you know coincidence coincidences don't just happen this life it's not just this miraculous happening uh it, it came into this world with a with a purpose with an intention uh with a series of lessons right that i probably selected and chose for myself prior to coming here so personal year ones Ones are all about beginnings, right? So, beginnings, it's a year to re-examine goals. This is the year that lays the foundation for the following eight years in this new cycle. An awesome year to start new projects. Your main focus should be yourself and what, you, and what passions and goals you have in life. It's a year of new beginnings, lots of new opportunities, lots of energy. It's go time. So. That's a year one, which it's, it's all about beginnings of, you know, setting the precedence for the next following eight years. So when we go from a personal year one into a personal year two. Uh, and just real quickly, I don't want to point out, if you guys want to real quickly figure out what personal year you're in right now, you can do that easily by just taking your month and, and date, date of birth um, and then add up this year. So it's 2019, which that'll add up to a three. So take your month, date of birth, add those, and then add three to it, and it'll tell you what year you're in specifically this year. Anyways, that may be important for some of you to know. So a year two, this is all about connecting, right? Connecting in your life, one-on-one uh, -on -one relationships, uh, partnerships. Focusing on your relationship with others, it's a time of listening and compromising. A time to be sensitive to the needs of others. This is a slower but valuable year. Patience, partnerships, lower energy, lots of one-on-one -on -one relationships, and it's kind of a timeout year. Um, I've noticed it seems like the years kind of alternate from the higher energies to the lower energies, one after the other. So then we go to a year three. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually in a personal year two this year, so my personal year three is next year, which I can just tell you right now, I'm absolutely looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to it now because I'm going into it with the understanding that I have so I can look back on the past and see what those personal year threes were like for me before and I love those years so I really look forward to it so a personal year three is all about creating this is a year of needing to express yourself to come in touch with your true feelings and emotions 
This can be done in many different ways. Socializing, writing, singing, painting, dancing, etc. This is about telling the truth as you see it. This year can be both organizing and inspirational. So it's a year of creativity, right? which I really look forward to that. Um, in the past, my year threes have always been beautiful years where there's been a lot of creative energy within me and there are years where I've seemed to really have stepped out, right, to really express myself, kind of put myself out there. Okay, then we go into a personal year four. So personal year fours, they're all about building. You may have a lot of work to do this year. This is when you should lay down a solid foundation for your future and getting things in order. On the practical side, it can be securing your home or starting a family. Emotionally, you may find yourself digging into your roots, possibly resolving unresolved issues of the past. It's foundational building year. You're hyper-focused, could be feeling stuck, focused on limitations, tight with money, and so it's a lower energy year. Okay, and then we move into a year five, right? And five, like in the world of tarot, it lands right in the center, right? Between one and 10. So right in the middle, this is about changes. So this year is about changes in almost any aspect in your life. Possibly getting a new job or moving to a new location. You may discover a new skill you want to master. An awesome year to travel and expand your horizons. On a deeper level, it could involve changing some of your inner beliefs. It's a year of freedom, change and flexibility, unexpected events, emotional spending, travel. It's a higher energy year. Okay, so then we go into a year six. And a year six is about nurturing. This year is all about your loved ones. An important year to care for and show family members and close friendships your appreciation. A time when life evolves around your family and loved ones. This could consist of a domestic drama, uh, nurturing, balance and responsibility, career opportunities, focused on family, uh, and a lower energy year. So it's interesting, you know, as you start to, you know, for those of you that want to kind of follow what I've done with my life and go through and really break it down, um, I can tell you this firsthand whatever energies you invest into it right with with whatever intention you're setting right what, what you're seeking what you're truly desiring as you step into this journey that's that's what you're going to experience so um, my experience has been very good because it's meant a lot to me and I put a lot of intention a lot of energy in this uh, so I feel like the universe responded back with that so year seven is it's all about reevaluating. This year is about making sure you get some time to meditate in solitude. Re-examine your core values, possibly seeking spiritual wisdom from a healer or someone you trust. A year to take a Sabbath. It's, po it's if possible, a year of cleansing. High probab probability that legal disputes are resolved during the course of this specific year. Uh, what's next? quiet and introspective, spiritual awareness, needed time alone, and it's a higher energy year. Okay, so year eights. Year eight is all about expansion, right? This is, this is a year to really take charge, uh, you know, to step into that leadership role, taking on much more responsibility. Uh, a year meant to empower yourself, a time to step up and lead, to be the boss, take responsibility and be the authority. Show you're capable of being in charge. It could be school events, something at home, work, etc. This is about power and not abusing it. Remember, with great power comes tremendous responsibility. I mean, that was actually in my notes, but I actually think I heard that in the Spider-Man movie by Peter, whatever his name is. Uh, it's a year to focus on your money. Do I invest, sell, or retire? Am I getting my worth? It's an action year. How can I be empowered? Okay, and then we move into a, a year nine. And a year nine, so we're at the end of the cycle, so it's about completions. This is the final year in the nine-year cycle. Completions and closures are key words here. 
Time to come to terms with all that's been accomplished in this cycle. How did things turn out? Are you closer to your goals? Are you living your passions? A year of letting go, forgiving and forgetting whatever was lost or not accomplished within that nine years. This year is about money and assets. It's a year of endings, of letting go, forgiveness, completion of a cycle, and a year where you begin to prepare for new beginnings. Okay, so there's, the, there's a brief description on the nine year cycles. And what I was gonna also let you guys know is I also wanted to talk just a little bit about life's pinnacles. Um, so the pinnacles that we have in life, and this is connected to, you know, to numerology. Um, for starters, just to kind of give you guys a, you know, uh, a start into you know, gaining an understanding of this. You know, if you go to applications on your phone uh, and you type in numerology, it will take you to several different applications that will provide this information for you in terms of numerology, as well as your life's, life's pinnacles. Uh, but I wanted to talk just briefly about life's pinnacles. So our life consists of four pinnacles. The, and what pinnacles are is they consist of pretty major and drastic life changes, right? That, that, that we take on and we embrace in our life. And it's interesting because as I look back on mine, you know, your first one, it comes in the first 28 to 34 years, right? So your first pinnacle is your longest pinnacle, uh, and it'll, it'll differ for each and every one of us. But anywhere between 28 and 34 years, uh, once you put your information into the system, it'll tell you exactly when yours were. And then from there, your second pinnacle lasts nine years. And then you go into your third pinnacle, which lasts nine years. And then you step into your fourth and last pinnacle, which lasts for the duration of your life experience. And it's so interesting for, you know, as I look back on mine, because, you know, many times I think, I mean, this life experience, it, in many ways, it feels like three, four life experiences. Um, it just does. And I started thinking about that a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I can't help but feel that. Um, and I, have an, I, I think I have a pretty good understanding as to why I feel that experience. Something, you know, I've, I've created. Um, but, sorry, I lost my train of thought here. Ugh, brain cramp. Oh, that's terrible. This could be the first time this has ever happened. I should really hit stop now. Yeah, oh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I have so much stuff on my mind right now. Um, but we're, we're talking about the pinnacles. Uh, so, oh, so, yeah, I'm back now. Okay, so looking back at my life, it feels like three or four life experiences, right? All lived in this life. So I thought, well, how, do, how does that break down exactly? So in my mind, I started breaking down when those life experiences seemed to, you know, complete and then start over again. And it was so interesting because I was seeing a connection. I was pretty familiar with what my pinnacle years were. Uh, and I saw a, a, a connection there. So I looked into it and sure enough, you know, that's the reason I'm feeling like there's you know, three, four lifetime experiences that, I, that I've had here is because they've been broken out and split up by those pinnacles in my life. And, you know, by choice, life experience, um, when I was in the pinnacle of, of those specific years, I kind of expanded the bandwidth in terms of experience during those pinnacle years of, uh, you know, experiencing great, fantastic, you know, beautiful, abundant energies to the other side of the spectrum, you know, of, of really feeling those limiting energies, you know, the, the heavy energies, which just you know if i look back at if i look back look at it objectively you know what it points out to me is contrast right there's just a i kind of expanded the bandwidth on on the contrast of, of the experiences in terms of the extremes and i think what i think that's why for me you know sometimes it feels like three four life experiences in this lifetime right I'm on my fourth now anyways yeah.
thanks for letting me share this information with you guys today. Uh, I've overthought it, like I've mentioned so many times. Uh, it just, honestly, it feels good to just sit down and talk to you guys. It's a great experience for me because I, I'm, when I'm looking at the camera, I feel like I'm experiencing it as if I'm looking at you. Um, so I, I really enjoy that experience. And uh, I hope that you're able to, to find some meaning with what I've shared with you guys today. Uh, I hope that some of you take it to heart uh, and really go back and examine your life, right? And break it down, break it down on the nine year cycle. Figure out your pinnacles in life, right? Because, I don't know, it's life experience, you know? It's, you're the only one that takes it with you, right? It's your life experience. So it just seems like it just makes so much sense to make the most out of this experience. And I feel like I have the ability, I have the understanding and the knowledge now, stepping into, you know, the, moving forward with a lot more understanding and wisdom and enlightenment taking me into that time so that now I can step into it and I can really embrace those energies that I already know are there for me. And for me, it makes, tremendous difference in my life because look at the end of the day life is hard I mean hell it just is yeah and you know I don't know it's maybe easy for people to experience what I experienced and that is you know to kind of hit that that midway point in life uh, I just extended my life quite a while by saying that um, but you know hitting that that mid midpoint in life and looking back and you know being able to really find the meaning and the purpose and the growth right that was all in place for you to go through and experience so you can look back on on those experiences you know, with more understanding right with I mean it gets rid of the personalization of everything right so it's easy to look back right with an open heart of forgiveness and understanding beautiful energies um, yeah for me it's been a very positive experience and it's really allowed me to help connect myself with some beautiful energies in life and you know gain a better understanding of you know what this life experience I've been going through is what's been all about um, so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share with you guys today uh, Sorry, it wasn't more professional, but really, I'm not sorry. I just, I just spoke, uh, you know, and I spoke from from the heart with feeling, uh, and with sharing the experience that I've went through. So, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share. Uh, I just want to mention, if, you know, if this video, if what I'm talking about, if it makes sense to you, and you feel like there's maybe somebody else in your life that it would make sense to, uh, feel free to forward it to them. I mean. You know, we're all on this journey together, right? Seeking understanding, seeking wisdom, seeking guidance. This is this has all been very helpful information for me to learn about in, in my own life. So I hope you find the same meaning and purpose in your life, right? I hope it means just as much for you. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.